Hello friends, it's Emmy B. Welcome back to my channel. Um, thanks so much for being here. Uh, if you like my content, please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel. It really helps out um, and I'm definitely working towards my next goal of getting 50 subscribers. Uh, I think right now I'm at 32, so I'm getting pretty close. Um, so yeah, make sure that you do all the fun things. If you like my content, it really, I really appreciate it and it really does help me out. But anyway, let's get into today's video. Today I am going to be showing you guys how I do my hair. Um, I posted a couple pictures about it on Instagram, like with my super curly hair, and got a couple of like comments and DMs asking like, how do you do your hair? How does it end up looking like that? And things like that. So I just figured I would make a video for you guys. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm sorry if you can hear uh, like a noise in the background. I do have a fan going on, like a fan blowing because it is really warm in my bedroom and I'm sitting right in front of a big window which lets in a lot of heat and I'm using heat tools so it's like very warm. So my cheeks are all rosy. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started going to take my glasses off. Don't mind the fact that I don't have any makeup on. I'm going to be filming another video after this and I didn't want to put makeup on for this video just to take it off <laughs> to do makeup on the next video. So you're just going to have to bear with my bare face for this video. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and take my hair down. So I do have freshly washed hair. Um, and my natural hair is actually very curly. I know it doesn't look like it in like right here, but if I can figure it out in editing, which I think I finally have figured it out, I will post a picture right here of what my natural curly hair normally looks like when I first get out of the shower, but it's like kind of like this now because I've had it up in a bun. Um, but real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and brush my hair and I don't want to bore you guys with that. So we'll skip ahead to unbrush or to brush out hair. All right, guys, we're back. My hair is brushed out. Tell me I don't look like a uh, Hagrid from Harry Potter. Uh, <laughs> I have, like I said, I have naturally curly hair. So when it's brushed out, it's very big and very frizzy. And so what I do when I am going to be uh, curling my hair is I actually straighten my hair first. This just really helps smooth out a lot of the frizziness and gets things in order and it takes out whatever part of like my natural curl that I have. I don't know if you can really see any like remnants of it. Um, you kind of can back here, but yeah. So I have a lot of hair, but my hair is really fine. So it actually doesn't take me too long to straighten my hair. So I'm going to straighten my hair and we will just speed through this part real quick. Um, but first things first is you always want to use a heat protector. I didn't really believe in heat protectants and then I would wonder why like a year later my hair was so damaged and I was having to cut like four inches off. Um, and then <laughs> my stylist was like, well, are you using a heat protectant? And I was like, no. And she's like, well, girl, that's why. <laughs> and so if you're someone who uses a lot of heat on your hair, or even if you don't use a lot of heat on your hair, honestly, just always use a heat protectant. It really does help. Uh, so th the one that I use is the Tresemme Heat Tamer uh, Leave-In Spray. It says it uh, has heat protection up to 450 degrees. Bottle looks like this. And so what I do is I start sectioning my hair. So I do three sections. So I start when I'm straightening my hair. I start the first section right above my ears. And then I take the rest of my hair and I just take one of these like claw clips and clip it up. 
Don't I just look fabulous? Um, and then take my section, spray my heat protectant on. I usually just do on the bottoms um, of my hair and then I take my brush, brush it through, and then we'll go ahead and start straightening. See, my hair, it, because it's so like fine, um, it doesn't take long to straighten at all. Also, I don't have a crazy expensive straightener. Uh, I, to be honest, I don't even know what brand this one is. Oh, it's Remington. Um, but like, I don't know what kind of straightener this is. I'm pretty sure I've had this straightener for about 10 years. And like, there's not even a gauge for like how hot it gets or anything. It's just this on off button right here and that's it so i have no idea how hot this thing gets or anything and uh i think it was like maybe 13.99 at like ross i think my mom got it for me at like a ross <laughs> and yeah it works just fine for what i need it to do which is straighten my hair. When I move on to a new section, I do uh, tie up the hair that I just straightened into a ponytail to make sure that I'm not like double straightening it because then that's just extra heat on my hair that isn't necessary because it's already straight. So the next section I take, just like right at the hairline, right above your temples pretty much. straightened and ready to go. Like I said, it's not perfect. Um, I'm not trying to get it like pinned straight. I'm just trying to do it enough to get a lot of the frizz down and just so that it's a bit more manageable. I've also noticed that when I straighten my hair first and then curl it, um, it doesn't tangle as easily as if I were to just curl my hair uh, without straightening it first. I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's because the hair is like sleeker, but yeah, that's just something that I've noticed. So let's go ahead and get started with um, curling. First, I'm gonna show you, there is hair all over me. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the curling. First, I'm gonna show you two different types of um, curling irons uh, that I recommend for the type of like curl that we're going for. So the first one, this is also a Remington wand. Um, it looks like this. It has like a dial right here so you can get it as hot as you want. I always put mine at the hottest temperature. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is a one inch to a half inch barrel. Um, I really like the barrels that go, uh, that are bigger, that go to smaller at the tip because I just feel like they uh, hold curl better in my hair than other ones also really big uh like wands that are like an inch and a half or even two inches don't hold in my hair i don't know what it is but if you have trouble with curl holding in your hair i recommend getting a smaller barrel because 
pretty much anything over an inch um, doesn't hold in my hair. And so the other one that I uh, recommend, this is one that I bought off of Amazon. I don't even know what brand, it says oh, oh, oh here. And this is one that came with like detachable wand heads. So like it has these two, there's a button here and a button on the back. You just press them and this, there we go, pops off and it has different like interchangeable wand heads. This is the smallest one. Um, and this is the one that I like to use for the same reason as this one. And I'm pretty sure this one is even smaller. I'm pretty sure it starts at a half inch and goes all the way up to a quarter inch. And so this one is even smaller than this one, as you can see. And so, um, this one's good for when I like really, really, really tight curls. And, um, so if I can find them on like, uh, Amazon, I'll link them down below. Um, this one is like same as like my straightener. I've had it for like 10 years. I don't even know if Remington makes this anymore, but this one I've only had for like a year and I got it off of Amazon for like Christmas last year. So like 2019 Christmas. And so, yeah, I should still be able to find this one on Amazon for sure. And it is really nice because it comes with the interchangeable like wand heads. So um, you can like uh, try out different styles if you like. But so I'm gonna plug this in and then I will start showing you guys how I curl my hair. Actually, no, I'm gonna use this one. Just kidding. I'm gonna plug this one in and then show you guys how I curl my hair. So give me just a uh, wand is heating up. It really doesn't take that long for my wand to heat up, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair real quick. So when I straighten my hair, I straighten my hair in three different sections, right above the ears, and then I section it again right here. So it's the bottom section, the middle section, and the top section just to make sure that I can really get in to all of like the little nooks and crannies in my hair and make sure I get out all my curl pattern and uh, get any type of frizziness that I can. But when I'm curling my hair, I only section my hair in two sections. So just the bottom layer and the top layer. So I pretty much go right about my temples and that is where I section my hair off. So something that you can do before you um, even take the curling wand to your uh, hair is if you really have a hard time getting curled to hold in your hair, spray hairspray in your hair before you curl it. Um, I don't have to do this because my hair has been pretty much trained to hold my curl at this point. Um, I do think that you can kind of train your hair if you do it enough times to hold your curl and not really give you any fuss. But if you've got like really thin, fine hair, um, then spray your hair lightly with some hairspray before, do your curls and then spray it again afterwards. Um, but you want to make sure that you're using a good hairspray that's not going to leave your hair crunchy when you do that. So the hairspray that I like to use is also by Tresemme and it is the Extra Firm Control uh, Trust to Spray Extra Hold. And I get the one that is um, the all day humidity resistance because I do have like curly hair. It like will attract any kind of moisture into my hair from the outside because uh, curly hair is naturally really dry hair. And so it like sucks all the moisture out of the air and into your hair and then it just makes it a frizzy mess. So I get the one that is like humidity resistant and then I mine is the four uh, hold. I don't ever get five because five is just way too crunchy for me. Um, where four, I feel like definitely helps hold my hair 
um, in place without it being too crunchy. I think that my wand is heated up enough and so let's go ahead and get started. So I just take a small section, this one's too small, probably, yeah, about this big of section, um, about anywhere from an inch to an inch and a half. It really just depends on what kind of, um, if you want a really tight curl or a looser curl, if you want a tighter curl, grab less hair, a looser curl, grab more hair. So anywhere from like an inch to two inches of hair. And then I just hold it in my other hand and put it behind the strand and then just wrap all the way around like this and then I hold it for about 30 seconds so I'll count in my head like one two three four five six seven all the way up to 30 um, and then I will let it go and that is how the curl turns out now this is really tight so what you can do is just kind of pull on it just slightly not really hard and um, it will help loosen the curl up some so it's already not as tight as it was and then we'll move on to the next strand something that I notice that I do differently than from what I've seen in a lot of hair tutorials is I curl all of my hair in the same direction. Um, I know that you are technically supposed to curl all the hair like around your face away from your face and then alternate so then this piece should be going this way um, instead of this way. Um, but for me, I personally like the way that it looks to wrap all of my hair going away from my face. I just personally really like it and I think that it looks really good um, and my hair doesn't end up becoming like one big clump. I know that that's why a lot of people do not do that. Uh, but for me, I just think that it looks the best on my hair and I really enjoy the way that the way that it looks. So I curl every single section of hair away from my face. And then when I get to a, like a section in the back, I will pull my curling iron around to the back of my head and then wrap. I've been doing this a really long time, so I'm not really scared of like hitting my arms or anything like that. But if you are, um, I know that they make those like heat proof gloves and you could wear like long sleeves even if you wanted. but I've burnt myself so many times that I know that it really doesn't hurt that bad. Uh, and yeah. So, I have a burn on my arm right there from the other day. It was funny, I definitely thought it was a spider bite um, and I was starting to freak out because I'm terrified terrified of spiders <laughs> and so I thought it was a spider bite I started freaking out because I that would have meant that there was a spider on me so usually on uh, my bottom sections I end up with five different like strands of hair just because I've done my hair so many times I know generally that five strands is what is normal for me on like the bottom of my hair. Oh. 
Okay, so this is the bottom section of my hair done. And then one other thing that I see a lot of people do is they immediately start shaking out their hair because like it is really tight and they're like, I don't want my curls to be this tight. So they immediately start shaking out their hair. But what that ends up doing is it just breaks up all the hair. So like this piece is cool, but this piece in the back here is still warm because um, it just came off of the curling wand. So I wait, I like I spray my hair and then I wait until the very, very end, right before um, like all my hair is curled and every single piece of my hair has cooled down because while it's still warm, um, it hasn't set yet. And so once it's fully cooled down, then it's set, then you can like run your fingers through it. And I actually don't even really run my fingers through it. I have a different technique, which is kind of fun. And so I'll show you guys that at the end. But anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling now and uh, just start curling the rest of my hair because I don't want this video to be 8,000 years long. <laughs> bottom section's done. It took me longer than I normally do because I was having some issues with uh, this one piece. Like uh, this piece right here for whatever reason was not wanting to cooperate with me but that's okay. We got it figured out. So I've let down the top section of my hair. So unlike when I straighten my hair, I do not pin back uh, my curls because I want to disturb them the least amount that I possibly can. Um, I don't want to really move them around because I want to allow them to fully set um, and stay in the shape that they're going to stay in. So I just like pick up my top section and brush it out and then do the same thing and just curl all the pieces away from my face in one to two inch sections. So I'm gonna continue doing that and watch some Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> hand um, before I let it out and kind of let it cool and it's just another way of letting it set and as you can see up here it ended up helping keep a lot of the volume which I like to try to do when it's more towards the back so now this half of my head is all <laughs> curled and it's crazy looking but that is what we want, so we're gonna leave it and move to the next side.
it. So now my hair is fully curled and now I'm just going to wait about 10 minutes or so for all the heat to come out of the back of my hair and then I will show you guys how I shake out my hair and we'll be all done. All right, so it's been a couple minutes. My hair has finished setting. I sprayed another set of hairspray on it. I know this is sort of a weird angle, but I have to be standing in order to show you guys what I do. So um, I don't like run a hair a hairbrush through my hair. I don't like rake it out with my fingers. The way that I find that works best for me is I flip my head upside down and then just kind of shake it out and almost like headbang. Actually, not almost, I do headbang. <laughs> and I feel like that breaks up the curls enough to um, uh, like not just be these like things like this, but it still leaves them intact enough to where it doesn't just look like I spent all this time for no reason and uh, yeah, so let me just show you. So, so I like shake my head back and forth and I don't um, like run, but I just take my hands and just kind of hit my curls almost and uh, just do this and then do the head bang. And now my curls are all banged out. So let me get back into regular position. Okay, and this is how my hair turns out once it's all banged out and stuff. So it looks really curly and intense right now it does after maybe 20 minutes the curls do start to kind of fall out a little bit not a lot um but just enough for it to not look so crazy but if you like uh do it too much to your hair like uh don't let the curls set and then let me bring this down a little bit uh, if you don't let the curls set properly, uh, bang them out too early or brush them out uh, like with a hairbrush, you're just going to disrupt the curls too much and then they're not going to stay as well in your hair. And so, yeah, this is the finished product. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please uh, like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments if you guys try this uh, like method, technique, if this helped you at all um, and, or like let me know how you curl your hair. I'll make sure to try to find the links for the curling wands that I use in the description and I'll leave them in the description down below. But that's it for me today, guys. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, everyone.